Hello, I'm Ed from Speak English with Ed and today we're going to be talking uh, about words that have PH in them. PH side by side. So we're going to talk about how to pronounce the PH in these words. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel then hit the subscribe button just down there and ring the bell to make sure that you get notified from YouTube when we release new videos full of tips, tricks, help and information for you with uh, your English speaking. So what's special about English words that contain PH? Well PH when it's joined together side by side like this uh, is called uh, a digraph. It's called the, the, the sound that it makes is called a digraph. And a digraph um, is described as being um, a sound that is made when two letters are joined together and you don't pronounce the letters separately or in their own form, you pronounce them differently. So um, the w digraph that we're looking at today is PH uh, and you don't pronounce it as P -h -p -h. you don't pronounce it like that. You d pronounce it uh, with an F sound, an F. Like your teeth hit your tongue, hit your lip, inside your lip, just like that. Feels a bit strange, I know, but and that's the sound that pH together makes 99% of the time. So, uh, when it's joined together, when they're side by side, these two letters side by side, P and H side by side, it's an F sound. And we've got a perfect example up here uh, in this word digraph. Digraph is the name of the sound and it has, it contains a digraph at the end here. PH is pronounced F in this word. So uh, let's have a look at some words that are pronounced uh, with uh, F and have a PH in them. First of all, we've got phone. It's something that you'll use every day. I bet you use it every day. Phone. Right? You'll say, You'll wake up in the morning and you'll say, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Or, I need to check my phone. You, everybody does. Everybody does. So, phone. It's got a digraph. It, the pH in this word, uh, the pH are together. So, they're pronounced phone. Phone. Another one on here, you'll you'll use your phone to take a lot of photos with. You're getting the idea here. Photos, right? The pH is together, and it's pronounced photos, right? Phone, photos, both pH, beginning of the word, first two letters of the word, one sound. Another one is phobia. Do you know what a phobia is? Well, a phobia is when you're either frightened of something or you don't like something. You can have a phobia where you're frightened of spiders. Little spiders. I love spiders. I hate snakes. I've got a phobia about snakes, me. I, I don't like snakes. Um, some people have a phobia about heights. They don't like say going on ladders or going on roofs or standing on anything where they might fall they don't like it they have a phobia about it it's like a fear uh, or uh, they may have a phobia uh, about something they don't like like um, a certain type of food some people have a phobia about brussels sprouts they just don't like them they won't eat brussels sprouts uh, the, uh, no, don't like it. I love Brussels sprouts. I love spiders. Spiders. I have a phobia about snakes. I hate snakes, but um, I'm not so keen on heights either. But um, that's phobia. 
it is pronounced that's getting off the track a little bit there but we're getting uh, um we're getting to see that it's a ph that it starts with a ph the first two letters so it's a f sound okay you got that it's a f sound so all these first two letters the ph is pronounced f f okay so now what about when we get ph in the middle of a word here we've got ph it's in the middle of a word the word is elephant so it's pronounced with um an f f f sound just the same as in phone photo and phobia so this is an elephant elephant okay elephant it's in the middle of the word another ph that's in the middle of a word is um microphone micro i'm using a microphone here for recording this uh, video a microphone ph we saw phone uh, on the other side here where it's at the beginning it's a, it's a word that stands on its own well it's actually short for a shortened version of telephone but um in this case it's microphone and it's got a ph it's in the middle of the word but it's still pronounced phone it's still pronounced with an f this one this one beautiful animals these dolphins have you ever swam with dolphins or oh, i'm not i'm not a sea type person but i would imagine everybody that talks about it is fantastic swimming with the dolphins the, now the ph is in the middle of the word fin doll fin and it pronounced with an f just the same as um are the others so all these words letters words that have got ph in the middle are all um pronounced with an f just the same phobia photo phone dolphin microphone elephant they're all the same but what happens when you get a ph at the end of a word hmm? what's going to happen what's the ph at the end of a word going to sound like it's going to sound just the same it's going to sound f as in photograph photograph now this word has got ph at both ends of the word it's got ph at the beginning photograph ph so this has two digraphs in it photograph well it's got the same digraph two times twice okay photograph it's at the end of the word it's still pronounced f okay here polygraph polygraph do you know what a polygraph is a polygraph is uh, uh, what the americans call a lie detector they go for a polygraph test if the um if a solicitor thinks they're telling lies or something like that or what have you the police use them uh, take a polygraph test to see if you're telling lies polygraph it's got a ph at the end and it's got an f sound polygraph and so as autograph now an autograph do you know what an autograph is well an autograph is a signature from a famous person some people collect autographs to go around uh, the country and they'll collect uh, certain types of autographs the, there's um you can have autographs from anybody that's famous really there's pop stars there's television stars there's politicians sports stars every, anybody who's famous you get an autograph and when you go for an autograph you pronounce it with a f it's a ph but you pronounce it with a f so all these at the at the end of the word autograph polygraph photograph but they're all pronounced f there's a f at the end of every word so what we can say is really and truly that when you're talking about the english language 99 or percent of the time or a lot anyway a real lot um, you see a ph you think f right think f whenever you see a ph however 
there's a big however this um, like everything in English that you'll find there's a set of rules but there's always some little exception something that doesn't quite apply to the rules and we've I've got a couple of words here to show there's a few words that don't apply but I'm gonna explain with a couple of words here shepherd now shepherd has ph in the middle right but it's not a digraph this is not pronounced as one sound this is pronounced as two sounds we've got shepherd 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 it's two distinct sounds shepherd same with haphazard it's it's like two words but they're, they're joined together so we've got haphazard it's it's it, well it's one word really and it means uh, not doing things organized not not being organized just doing this and doing that and doing that without any organization to what it is that you're doing so it's haphazard and it's got a ph in it but it's not a digraph that is not a single sound it's haphazard you pronounce it as two sounds and you pronounce them separately haphazard but as i say whenever you think you you see ph automatically think f 99% of the time it will be an f so you think f so if you've got any questions about words that have ph in them please leave them in the comments below leave any questions you've got anywhere in the comments below and i will get back and answer them uh, answer them for you and anybody else that wants to read them it will benefit everybody if you leave your questions in uh, in the in the comments below if you've got questions please don't keep them to yourself ask them and uh, i can help you uh, with the questions that you have so in in the questions below now don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed yet then remember to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell that way you'll get notified when we release new videos full of tips, tricks, help and information uh, to help you get through your English speaking CELT English speaking tests. So until next time, this is Ed Anguish saying stay safe, look after yourself and practice, practice, practice. So bye.